Hi there. Now for this question, we're asked to solve this equation. 2 to the power x equals e to the power 3x plus 1, which equals 10. And give your answer to part b then in the form a plus the natural log of b, all divided by c plus the natural log of d, where a, b, c and d are integers. And this is for 5 marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, I'll go slowly through the work solution, or you can fast forward just to check out the answers. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So let's see how we get on with this. Let's just put down the equation first of all. 2 to the power x then multiplied by e to the power 3x plus 1 and this all equals 10. Now, because our unknowns here, x, are as powers, we need to take logs to both sides. We're using natural logs here, so I'm going to take natural logs then to both sides. So we'll do the natural log of all of 2 to the power x multiplied by e to the power 3x plus 1 equals, and then we take the natural log of the other side, and that will be the natural log of 10. Now we can split this up. We've got a product here, 2 to the power x times e to the power 3x plus 1. And when you've got a product, remember that with logs we can split this up to the natural log then of the first part, 2 to the power x, and then we add this to the natural log of e to the power 3x plus 1. And then this will equal the natural log of 10. Now when we take the logs of values like this and we've got the x as a power, we can use the power rule for logs and that is we can bring the x, or the power anyway, out the front of the log. So for this term here I can rewrite this as being therefore x times the natural log of 2. And for this one here, this is the same as plus 3x plus 1, bringing that power out in front of the natural log of e. And then we've got equals the natural log of 10. Now the natural log of e is 1. Any log in its own base is always 1, so that's 1 there. And so Cleaning this up, we've got x times the natural log of 2 plus just simply 3x plus 1 equals the natural log of 10. So I can see then that if I start to group up my x terms by pulling out x as a common factor here, I've got x times the natural log of 2 plus the 3 here. And if I subtract 1 now from both sides, I've got minus 1 plus the natural log of 10. So this is starting to take shape now, OK, to what we've got here. Because all I've got to do is divide both sides by the natural log of 2 plus 3. So if I do that, we end up with x equaling minus 1 plus the natural log of 10 and all of this is divided by the natural log of 2 plus 3. But looking ahead, I'm going to switch these two values around. 3 then plus the natural log of 2. I've done that because it now is in this format. So I can say that this is identical to a plus the natural log of b, all divided by c plus the natural log of d. And if we had to quote the values of a, b, c and d, not that we have to for this example, but I'll just put it in anyway, then I would say where a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to 10, c is equal to 3, and d is equal to 2. Alright?